hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video on my channel in this video today we're going to be making some classic tasty white sauce halal white sauce guys this is the kind of sauce that you would find in these halal places that they use for chicken over rice or lamb over rice so to start off the ingredients that we're going to be using for this recipe today is four teaspoons of sugar two teaspoons of lime juice one teaspoon of parsley flakes one teaspoon of black pepper one teaspoon of salt two tablespoons of vinegar over here i have two cups of Brick yogurt. Now, this recipe might be a lot for most of you. If you want, you can just cut the ingredients in half. So, I have a two cups of Greek yogurt and two cups of mayonnaise. And basically, what we're going to be doing is to just combine all of these recipe into one bowl, and that's pretty much it for this video. So, we're going to get right into that. All right, guys. So here we are. This what you're looking at here is my mayonnaise. I'm go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and add my two cups of Greek yogurt to my mayonnaise. I'm gonna add my two tablespoons of vinegar. one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, four teaspoons of sugar. two teaspoons of lime juice or lemon juice and one teaspoon of parsley flakes. Now all we're going to do is just to blend everything up inside of here and that's basically it. So we're just going to combine all the ingredients. All right guys, so as you can see, my halal white sauce is looking pretty good right now. It's very thick as it should be. Now this white sauce is traditionally used over like chicken over rice or lamb over rice or falafel over rice, whatever. You, this is used as a garnish. The same way you would use ketchup and hot sauce and barbecue sauce. This is the same way this sauce is used. So. Be sure to try this recipe. Let me know what you guys think about this recipe. It's a great addition to whatever you're eating, guys. Trust me. Now, you don't have to make as much as I did. You can choose to cut the recipe in half if that's what you want. Also, this is usually placed in one of those squeezy bottles. I don't have any of that, so I'm gonna place this in a, in a dish container and I'm just gonna scoop out a little by little when I need to. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to join me again for another recipe another time.